another defining moment i would say would be that uh, when i was awarded the padma shri uh, in 2007 uh as an award uh, i think that's a humbling moment for any individual to get one of the highest civilian honors uh, from the president of india so i think these are a couple of the defining moments that i would say in my life i think the mission has right from the beginning been uh, institution over self to create an institution and uh, one of the guiding principle has been uh, every i deserves the best i don't think there has been any change on that you look at the best talent you look at trust uh, which again is integrity and compassion you can say and then you look at technology so that's uh, efficiency and precision so pretty much our value chain has remained the same and that is what center was i stands for as uh, some uh, organization as an organization which is right there in the people's mind that if you want the last word in any specific disease in ophthalmology go to centropsite and centropsite would give you the results and the in a transparent manner uh, and an honest clinical opinion to the patient like uh, they say that india is shining uh, globally it's maybe the next decade or 15 decade uh, 15 uh, years belong to india i think the same is very true about ophthalmology maybe we started another 5 10 years earlier and that is a continuing process that is there so getting the right mix of the doctor has been the challenge uh, i would say but uh, touch wood we have been able to uh, uh, overcome that entire one city is tired two cities but when we want to go to the heartland uh, uh to tie three cities or small town the the doctors are obviously hesitant going uh, and uh, sitting there for doing their uh, practices so i think uh, that is the challenge uh, till the township grows and their children have facilities for schooling etc roads etc good which i think is happening uh, thick and fast would say that what comes next is that we want to have our uh, footprint established all over we uh, uh, we would prefer to also go international so that's the thought process that is there uh, we have built uh, tertiary sup- or quaternary i would say super specialty hospital in dwarka i would wish to have that in each of the region of uh, india because that really provides a lot of uh, Uh, it requires whole sum you have research going on you have uh, academics going on you have teaching training everything you have clinical work etc you are also uh, doing uh, low cost uh, maybe quasi charitable work as uh, as a foundation etc working at center per site has been a revelation for me in many ways the whole support team of patients that it's not just the doctors but also the counselors the optometrists we all work as a team and that is and then we develop icer we have all the latest machines in our center we have the feco machines we have the laser machines and all the other diagnostic tools which helps us to serve the patients to the best of our abilities i feel very much at home uh, it's not only large hospital where you're going from Uh, department to department here you know, in the one building we're getting everything done everybody is up here to bore it's a very comfortable feeling and it's like coming home i am got the confidence to really go through for this surgery you know how it is i have to have one night so i got the confidence to go to milk it as far as the ophthalmology is concerned it is one of the most clinical branch everything you can see through your eye we depend less on the investigations or other um, uh, medical professions to diagnose and treat the eye condition that's why i see i feel this is one of the uh, best branch to take center for sight is opening your centers and even in the district levels so thereby we are trying to reach the uh, people who are not uh, getting that services earlier a center for sight regularly conducts eye caps which are where the patients are checked for free sometimes we tie up in others to give free glasses to people our doctors regularly give free service to people suppose in the caps we see some patients who need to be brought into our institute for some extra treatment or for some extra investigation or diagnosis they are brought here and we offer them free of cost services so in other words 
The corporate social responsibility part of Center for Sight is very much in place and we are always eager to reach out to all the sections of the society. I think there has been a sea change in ophthalmology. Uh, when we would say, uh, I don't know whether you are aware, but earlier when the surgeries were done, they were uh, people would come in a railway, a doctor would come and there will be 100 patients on a railway station and they would just do a surgery and push off, things like that. So that technology or that thing is gone. Today, what is there is precision, microscopic surgery, lasers, everything is there. So the barrier to entry has gone up and it is not that these technologies don't deliver. These are uh, press biopia correcting lenses which came in and uh, that blended with the fantastic technology of cataract surgery has today made cataract surgery from a restorative surgery. That means that a person who is blind, uh, his vision is not just getting restored, but he is also making it into a refractive procedure. That means that you are also getting an opportunity at that particular time to get rid of glasses for that individual. The next big revolution I would say was the onset of refractive procedures. Today, after cataract surgery, the next big thing that is happening is the refractive procedures and uh, the desire of the younger generation or any person for that matter to be encumbrance free and not wear glasses has really also revolutionized the, uh, the science and art of uh, refractive surgery. Suffice to say that anybody who has the fire in the belly or who wants to succeed, first thing is that for, for a youngster, you need to actually have solid foundations. There is no shortcut in life but to have be rock solid in what you are doing. Learn every damn thing that you can because it is going to stand you in good stead. If you have to be successful, you need to be passionate. And if what you are doing and your passion are together, that is what is going to be the alchemy for success. So that's what I feel that that is what the younger generation, your heart should be there.